Hi, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be washing my hair. It's um, four weeks post relaxer and um, it's been two weeks since I've washed my hair. So I had my hair in a ponytail yesterday and here it all is. And I'm going to jump in the shower now and wash it. So I've just washed my hair and I deep conditioned, I put some conditioner on it and I wrapped my hair for about half an hour and I've been seeing quite a lot of people saying it's good to use a t-shirt on your hair just after you've washed it so seeing as today I want to get my hair quite smooth and straight I thought it would be a good opportunity to try it so I just used a normal t-shirt and just wrapped that round my hair and I'm going to... I bought the new a new leave-in conditioner. I've been saying I wanted to try something new for a while, so I'm trying the Keracare leave-in conditioner, and it says shampoo and distribute a dime-sized amount into hair. Um, use more for long or thick hair. So my hair is quite long, so I'm going to use kind of two dime-sized amounts. So kind of two pumps. And I'm going to put that all through my hair and hopefully I'm going to like this product. That doesn't actually feel black enough. I'm going to put a little bit more in. Just so I can make sure the edges are protected because this has got a heat protectant in it. And in the UK, you can't really get Keracare products everywhere. I actually bought this on Beauty Bay, and I'll leave a link um, in case anybody's trying to get their hands on some Keracare products. And when I blow dry my hair, I part it first into two halves. I will make the sections, um, I will quarter the sections eventually, but I start off with it two halves, and I'll just clip up the side that I'm not working on. I'll just take my blow dryer on medium heat and I will start. Now most of that is blow dried, I'm going to go ahead and just part this in half just to make sure that I've got all of the roots and then I'll basically just repeat this process on the other side. <laughs> one side of my hair finished and if I look it's been seven minutes since I started filming so I kind of that's I probably have been blow drying this part of my hair for about six minutes and then the same on the other side usually I try and blow dry my hair within 15 minutes just because I kind of don't want to apply too much heat um comment below how long it takes you to kind of blow dry your hair it'll be really interesting to know how long other people take as well so this is my hair now it's all blow dried and i'm conveniently on a swivel chair so i can show you that and as i said before it's <laughs> you see it's my hair is mid back then um my waist is here so my kind of goal really at the moment, um, my goal at the moment is for kind of the shorter parts of my hair that are underneath, for those to grow down to be big bat length so that my hair is kind of fuller like that. Um, but yeah, in terms of my first impressions of the Keracare, my hair feels really, really smooth and moisturized, but that could have been down to the deep conditioning but it feels really well protected when I was blow drying it my hair wasn't getting really hot or anything like that blow dried on medium heat um so that's all really good so yeah that's all good so far and now I'm going to 
start the straightening process and I'm using my GHC straighteners. So my, my aim today is to really get my hair quite sleek and straight and then maybe put some curls through the end, but I want my hair like quite flat and stuff. So this curl care has done really well to smooth up my hair so that I can kind of try and get those kind of results. When I get closer to the front, I'll be able to show you a bit more clearly what I do. So let me just get on with this and I'll show you how I straighten the front sections. So I'm doing this front left section now. And I'll basically just, I've taken it down, I'll comb it through. And as I said, because I've used the comb blow dryer, there's not actually any knots in my hair. This is the kind of size section I'll take down and then I'll kind of split that in half. So I'll start the root, I'll straighten down my hair and then I'll go down the hair again. So it comes apart a bit more. Down to the tip, then once I quickly again. And then with the hair right around my hairline, I'll just give it a little extra attention. I kind of take my time on the first pass and the second pass is quite quick. And I'd say just be really careful with the hairline. The hair's usually kind of a different thickness to the rest of your head, so you kind of don't need to spend as much time straightening it. You kind of need to be really precise when you put the tongs in it so you can kind of move through that area of your hair quite quickly. You can see that side's all done. Just got this quarter section left to straighten. And here's my hair once I've finished straightening it, and I've got a centre part um, because I always try and switch up my part in. And you can see that the longest parts of my hair come. Below my boobs, and 
for bringing it to the back. So it's kind of making its way. And now, because I do have kind of the uneven growth in my hair, I really think it looks better personally when it's got um, some curls through it. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some wanded curls. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I don't usually use a wand to curl my hair. I was originally today just going to curl the very ends of my hair with my straightener, but I thought I might as well try something different. So let me know if you kind of like growing your hair with curls through it or straight and yeah if you want to see how I just use the straighteners just to curl the ends of my hair I can always do that next time I wash my hair so let me know below kind of what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching and if you're not already subscribed subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on my next one.